And so the girl comes off, Slade. That will be fitting, considering our past alliances. I will join you in showing our true faces, but I am sure you can deduce why that is an impossibility. Yeah, I've got the picture. Just figured I'd show I have nothing to hide from you, Bane. Let's not linger here any longer than we have to. It's clear we have some measure of respect for each other. Perhaps not as people, but as combatants and former associates. But all of that goes out the window the moment we arrive in Tokyo, as I have every intention of walking in as the pure wrestling champion and walking out as ringmaster champion. Because you may have broken the bad bane, you may have slain the god of thunder, but both have come back stronger than before. I've slain titans. When I cut them down, they never return. Slade, you have proven yourself to be a cunning adversary in the ring. Not only through your arsenal of abilities, but with your intellect and your tactics. They have brought you victories. They have garnered you the honor of disposing of the mad titan himself and claiming his throne as champion of IWA. For some time. But know this, I am no mad titan. I hold no holier-than-thou motif to my actions. What I do, I do to cement my reign as the reckoning of any domain I may step into. That makes me all the more dangerous than any man or beast you have come across. Do not think you can outsmart me, Slade. But in the ring of RCCW, we are equals. And that is me being humble. For if I were to allow myself the credit, I would say I am superior. <laughs> equals, Bane? Maybe. But superior? I beg to differ. I have faced off against countless opponents, and I've been able to outmaneuver, and I'll play all of them. But you. You're different. You possess strength that can't be underestimated, and hell, you're certainly smarter than most. But in the end, it'll be the same conclusion as every other story I've been in, where I stand tall as champion, and with you fallen by the blade. Come take over, I will ensure your death is an honorable one, Pain. An honorable death, Slade. <laughs> Laughable. No blade could pierce my armor. Let her only leave me slain. In that arena, I am unmatched. Prepare yourself. For when we meet in the ring, there would only be one outcome. And it will be me, Bane, who emerges victorious as the RCCW Ringmaster Champion. Once I break you, until Japan slays. Until Japan, then, babe. Until Japan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special Road to event here for RCCW NXT as we're getting closer and closer to heading to Japan for a reboot. My name is Riley Bannon, and shut your mouth, mate! It's me, Rupert O'Reilly, and I got more money by my side. Hello, 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 everybody! And we have Jaden Rose. Yes, and I'm on time this time around. Oh my god! Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh my lord. Oh. Uh, figures, oh, speaking wow. about on time, look who's shut late up. again. <laughs> I'm here. Shut up, I'm here. Oh, 
Peter oh Griffin. And I was going to say before Rupert coming off, we have a special title defense for Zatanna before reboot, but. Hey, what she got in that box? Zatanna, the what women's is champion What's in of. The, box? the women's champion of NXT coming out here with a. Wait. Oh my. oh my! Oh boy! Hello. I, I guess we're not waiting for Takeover to reveal it. There it is. That's a mighty beautiful Divinity Championship, and Zatanna not waiting to reveal it to the world. As tonight she plans on holding an open challenge, heading into the big triple threat in Tokyo. Talk about making an entrance. This is just a road to. Chill out. Well, is it, well, I mean, well, Peter, we don't have any more episodes letting into, into the takeover. This is her... Oh, wait, this is the final road to? Well, once with a match. We might have a promo here and there, mate. No, oh, that makes sense. Mm. Gotta but make yes. that statement going in. Exactly, and Zatanna yeah. making a statement to be shown that she will not be taken lightly as RCCW NXT's Divinity Champion. But the question is, who will be accepting the open challenge of Zatanna? And if things are to go south for her, what will be the fate of the triple threat in Japan? Well, who knows? No. We're about to find out pretty soon. Maybe a fatal four-way. I mean, that makes the most Very sense. Very well could be. And looks like we got ourselves someone who might know a few DC characters very well. Oh, oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, wow. Cassie Cage. One of the very few second generation superstars here in RCCW. The daughter of Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade. Oh, yeah. One a current superstar and one a former superstar of RCCW. Hey, hey, yo, listen. You didn't hear this from me, mate, and I'm not supposed to say this, but I've heard rumors that Sonya might be coming back. Shh, Rupert. Oh shit. Oh. Hey, oh, look. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. That's just. Hey, hey. I didn't say nothing, mate. Well, you know what they say. It's. It is just a theory. <laughs> Shut up. Well, Rupert, you're I already. All of you. Rupert, you're already on thin ice <laughs> considering how you ended last episode. You want me to say it again? Because I will. Yeah. Rupert, oh, please don't. <laughs> well. Yeah, please. Well, anyway, Cassie. I want my old crew back, damn it. Cassie Cage <laughs> accepting the opportunity given to her here tonight, and I just got it in my headset from Handsome Jack. So there's no questions about it. If Cassie Cage wins the Divinity Championship here tonight, it will be a fatal four way in Tokyo. Ooh. I can only imagine what kind of mix would be thrown in. That's going to throw a massive wrench in the gears. But that is only if you've got to think both these ladies got a little bit of ring rust on them, considering Zatanna hasn't been in the ring in NXT since Washington. And she didn't even get to fight in Washington, right? She, yeah, she didn't even get a match. The last time she ever had a match yeah, was like when she first won the belt. Is this true? Referee the enforcer. This is her first actual match match since winning that belt. Yeah, you're right. Referee the Enforcer holding up the championship belt. As here we go. Enforcer rings the bell and the match begins. Zatanna versus Cassie Cage. Cassie very clearly Ooh. confident in herself. Tie That's up here. Uh, Johnny Cage right in her. Oh! oh. Look at this side oh, headlock. Nice side headlock. headlock. Have a take down. Nicely we done. I don't really Don't know. We don't really precisely know what... Oh, nice knee there. Oh. We don't precisely know Zatanna's style because, again, like, it's just... Oh, we ain't seen her in a while. We ain't seen Cassie Cage much either, but we there's can... The, we can, we can deduce, deduce that there's a similar style. To a mix of both her parents, might I say. You tell she gets her kicks from her oh. father. Oh. oh. And her you do not want to mess with the kicks kick from a cage. cage. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, you see, kidding yeah, me. That's what. Right oh, wait, that no, 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 no. Uh, oh, wait, oh, wait. That's what happens when you fucking dab. Well, I mean, that's, that, that, she, that's well, she still has control. Big time power bomb there. Power bomb into the cover. 
Hold it down for the championship and attack. No. Only a two count there. And now Cassie. As I was about to say, you could tell she gets kind of her cockiness from her father. That is true. But, but look, she still this. has the smarts from mm -hmm. Sonya. And look at that! I know. Whoa. That's the both worlds. The Big the time world. DDT there by Cassie. A suicide tornado DDT and down goes the Definity Champion. Cassandra's already taken over. Sending her back into the ring now. Cassie looking to fly here. Back inside. We got a flying cage. The very top. Uh -oh. It's a like cage. Whoa. Whoa. What? What? Oh. in the hell? Attempting that big oh. Oh. What a reversal. Ooh, oh. Shotgun oh. And look at this fight. Moon Soul. <laughs> Right drop kick into the corner into a moonsault. Two, Over. three, out. no. Cassie. As Cassie Cage kicks oh, out, crap. let's quickly take a look back at the, some of let's the action. See that back again, please. A that, little bit more of the action thus far. Yeah. Went for the went for the short arm lariat, missed. Cassie pulled her into that head scissors. You're not gonna show this again, are you? You're gonna show it again. <laughs> There it is. There's that dab. Like, that's, like we said, there's crazy. an American side. And then this. This huge power bomb there from Cassie Cage. And then this suicide tornado DDT. Oof. Cassie was really hurt. She was feeling herself there. And then she went up to the top rope right after. Was looking As for I maybe. Yeah, she was going to go for her. cockiness from her father. Went for that DDT off the top. But Zatanna with the reversal. And got off the yeah, went off the go for cut, a diving DDT. Hit it with the shotgun oh. drop kick, turns it around into a standing moonsault. Beautifully done there, and that would have been it, but nope. Cassandra staying alive. This match continues. Oh, hey, what's with you in the government name, mate? Uh, I don't know. I'm just formal like that. Hey, hey, now let's not rag on more the money, okay? He had enough to deal with with that. Lin Lu Lu Luann loud t-shirt and stop a mania for Cassie K. And one more, no, nope, one for oh, oh, went, went to give him one for Finchin. And look at this, the strike uh -oh. is anything, they don't flinch. Coming for that military that background, you cannot flinch. And look at this, Cassie. Whoa! Oh. Hello? Wheel Stun oh. gun off the ropes into a jumping a neck breaker. Neck breaker. Beautifully this done neck breaker. Like there. Pin. One. Shoulders down leg to win the championship no. here. Kick no. up. Oh, uh, I don't like the look Ooh. on the faces of Tana. She does not look very happy. And she did not like uh, that. Oh, wait a know. minute. What the? She just took the bloody glove off. Gloves oh, off. No. The battle is on. Don't go! Love me! Deliver the declaration of a fight. Oh! Look, <laughs> my Cassie was telling me, "Come on, hit me again." I heard that, dude. The people outside the arena heard that. Gloves oh. come off. The slaps and chops can Ooh. rain. I hate that, Ooh. dude. Ooh. Look, listen, as as a former wrestler. There's nothing worse than the feeling the overhead chop, bro. I hate that. Bro, the overhead no. chop really. Oh, I get, I get, I get, mate, I get PTSD I get. from that. I remember I was in Japan and this bloke kept just like machine gun chopping me. That's why one of my pecs is off to the side, like it is. Take it oh, from God, a like man. A take it from a like man a by the name of the Ring General Gunta. I don't let the Ben's chop he ever took was from Penta El Cerro Miedo. Yeah, and Penta he specialized in those overhand chops. That's right, Penta. I mean, Gunther. I mean, Penta. That those are the exact chops that Penta does. The overhand chop. Those yeah, chops Penta's are nothing to sneeze at. Cassie, Cassie goes. Here's the. Then again, no chop is. Now Cassie you chops, and then he gets you quick. Back on topic with the matchup here. Cassie Aloni with the bare forearms. Look for a fight there, but ooh, oh, Zatanna. I went a for a key. Nope. That military Cassie's training. The, oh, it's the best of both worlds is Cassie Cage. Oh, oh fuck! Fuck! Oh. 
Like the shops can rain down. And she finally goes down. That cage. is, that's like right to the, right where your neck connects to your chest. And right in the collarbone. Right in the collarbone area. She this wants is, more. This is like your father. She wants more. <laughs> Kick it into the back of the knee. Oh. Hey, no, hey, oh, not you. She don't want you, mate. She don't want, she wants more chops. Well, don't, don't worry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be any. I'm not gonna be a master Roshi around. Oh God! More money, the master Roshi of the commentary booth. Ay ay ay. Hey, I'm not a good. See here, I respect. I I am a gentleman. Thank you very much. Oh, quick strikes. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, buddy. Okay, we're not gonna drag on more money. Got enough dragging on me. Hey, mate. Hey, look. Hey, look. NXT, damn it. Look, mate. You can do that on Avalanche, but this is that. This is me and Riley's booth. You follow by, well, me, I guess me, Riley, and Peter's booth. Oh, my God! Yeah, that's correct. Why, uh, why, did, why did I agree to come here? <laughs> that's oh, fucking Jesus! <laughs> meta, meta question, Ruben. Why did, oh, I, just, I got confused there. You're both, you both have Riley in your name. Oh, yeah, we do. Ooh. We we do. Only mine's spelled like Kyle O'Reilly. His is actually just like Riley, like... Well, it confused me when you said me and Riley. I was like, wait, who's who here? I'm O'Reilly. Oh. He's Riley. Oh, yeah, like O'Reilly oh, Auto Parts. I get it. I get it. Exactly, mate. Remember the oh, Auto Parts. Parts. Ow! Oh! Big speaking time. Speaking of ow! And kicking him out! Bro, look at Kathy going for something oh, here! What oh, oh, the heck? Oh, oh, the the tank cutter in a, in a freaking she, Lotus Law! Rolling Stunner, Shades of Grace and Waller, baby! There yeah, it is. Rolling Thunder Paul Nelson into this submission hold. Oh god, not that blow, Grayson Waller. I'd and knock. I'd knock his. <laughs> no, but I'd like to. <laughs> oh, look Dana at the look at the, the arms and the shoulders of Cassie Cage. The Lotus Lock. How here. is she gonna get out of this? She's gonna have to shift the weight, the roll thing. over, and be able to get some leverage on some. Zatanna or roll out. Roll out! Like that! Like that was too. right there to like, watch the submission. Nothing like, from uh, Cassie Cage and mounting the comeback is Cage! Like an Autobot, she rolled out. Mm. And Cassie now. Listo kick. Big time loop Tana up set up in the oh. corner. Ooh! Oh! Spinning, Spinning kick! kick. Ooh. To the front ah, and to the corner. back. Wow. And now, that Cassie. Look at this! Come on! Ooh! Oh. Now that Cage bottom there. slam and well, oh, oh my oh, lord! Wait a minute. Here we go! Here she Go's goes! Father. Wait no! Wait. A little bit, put a little stay on it. It's a moon salt. The people's <laughs> moon salt. Ooh! No. Get it from moon salt. My God, mate! What a now, Cassie. Cassie now, looking for some. Oh no, wait, looking for Blade Runner! Looking for the Blade Runner! Oh, Blade, Blade Runner! Runner. Whoa, what? Yeah, what the? What? No. Oh no. Oh. No! Oh. No! Only two. Hey. Got a little crunchy there, Only mate. Two. And look at this, wait a minute! Zatanna! Ah. Oh. 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 Hammerlock! Oh! Ow! Hat trick! The hat trick, Diddy! Dude, no, still it is, not it enough. It is not over. She's gotta think. She's gotta think of the curtain. Ooh. Gotta be thinking curtain call. I've seen, I've seen that move, but just not from her. Yeah, let's not talk about him. And oh, go curtain call time. Curtain call. Curtain call. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, Cage. 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 Yeah. Cage the escape. Four oh. strikes. Off the way, hold up here. What Cassie, no? go up to the top, had to slow down. Wait, is that you? What? What <laughs> the? Oh. What the? Oh! Suplex! Into the Inverted oh. suplex from the top! Oh. Call, call. Oh. The cop call! It is done! It's oh. over, mate. You're done, so Zatanna retains the championship. Take oh. a look at Man. some of this Holy action, hell. mate. And you can see that running neck breaker from earlier. And then here we go, yeah. Zatanna! And this right here, 
She, Cassie was going to go for that Rolling Thunder Stunner, but turned it around into a Lotus Lock. Beautifully done Lotus Lock there by Zatanna. It was looking to wear down the, the back, the shoulders, the arms. But here, we can see the cage bottom. <laughs> and just I when we thought she was going to go for her father's signature maneuver, which he, which he took from the rock, because, you know, they had a little beef back then. But turned it around into the <laughs> moonsault. Put her own little spin on it. But unfortunately, we thought that would be the legacy. Weird. Turn the legacy into mm. your own. But hey, as you, but speaking of that, she was going for her mother's finisher, the Blade Runner. But no. But look at this counter. Into a crunchy. <laughs> a crunching dude buster right Why there. Almost move. had her. It almost had it. Almost. And now. Was wrenching the arm and then caught her into the hat trick DDT. This one, that was just something else. We thought that was it. And then, but no. then this, we thought she was gonna go for the current call in this very moment, but Cassie able to escape it. Was only able to escape it for a short time though. It's one little mistake cost the. It look here. I'll point it out during the replay, mate. Look at this. Got counted. Went up to the top and see she slowed down. Allowing Satana to run up to the top rope, get it from behind, inverted superplex, mm. into the curtain call. It had, was she, done. had she not given yeah, that Satana was... that moment, she probably that could have gotten the move. second of exhaustion cost Yeah, that was better. It only takes that one second for you to slip up to cost you everything. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Peter, you said we didn't see too much of Satana's style. I guess we saw it here tonight. How we know now? You know, like, no, even, mate, even then, I don't even know what to pinpoint this lady as. She is a showwoman. And that comes with the craft. And to the victor it's goes true. the spoils. The Divinity Championship, mate. And still. Yep. But will that remain the case come Tokyo when she takes on Neela? And Shondi in a triple threat for that very championship at TakeOver Reboot. Wait just a minute. After a moment like that, I guess she's not done. She's calling for the ring hand to hand her a microphone. Uh -oh. oh boy. What will the Divinity Champion have to say going into Reboot? I guess we're going to hear from the Lady of the Hour herself. Well then, let's give her the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the stage is set for a clash of titans at Reboot. Allow me to bring you all up to speed on the situation from the beginning. When RCW NXT began, I had the honor and the privilege of being crowned its inaugural women's champion, while simultaneously being involved in the Superstars vs. Divas Classic Tournament. And who else would be involved in that tournament? Sean. And in said tournament, she'd be eliminated by one Jessica Rabbit, who I would go on to defeat to advance to the finals against Mandy. And just when I had the contract within my fingertips, Shondi would involve herself in the match and cost me the tournament victory. While the whole situation involving NXT's beginning and the tournament is a messy one, they are both irrelevant to the issues Shondi and I have with each other. It's, it's the, the principle of the fact Shawnee took on her frustrations on me and made our impending bout for the championship personal. However, when it came time for that battle, another challenge would make their presence felt. That woman would be the ever notorious Constable Neela. She attacked the both of us, making a claim for the top prize of this women's division here in NXT. Shawnee? Neela? Do you, you both think, think you have what it takes to dethrone the, the newly christened Divinity, Divinity Champion? To take, take this title from around my waist? Let, Let me make one, one thing perfectly clear. clear. You may you have, have your tricks, your schemes, and your saints, saints but, but none of that matters when you step into the ring with me. I am not just a magician, I am a master of my craft. And when the bell tolls and reboot, I will show you both why I am the master of my fate and the true Divinity 
champ. Strong words from the champ. Heading into Ooh, Tokyo, baby. Holy crap. Tokyo Drift. Wow. Oh, oh wait a minute. Crap. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what? Oh, boy. Well, this was inevitable. I'm surprised like no one... words have drawn some attention. And that would be the pretty face of the Saints. It is Shondi. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is not going to be pretty, it's mate. No, it will not, not. It's not in the slightest. Shondi clearly... Well, mm. You can already see in her hand she has a microphone. Wow. Looks like she's got something to say in regards to Zatanna. Well, for the first time, we're finally going to see these two face-to-face -face since DC. Let's hear what Shawnee's got to say. Zatanna, you seem to think that you, just because you've got that fancy tile around your waist, you're untouchable. But guess what? You're not the only one who's got some move around here. You see, when I came into RCCW, I wasn't looking to be just another pretty face. I'm here to prove that I'm more than just a saint from the road. But not everyone got that message when I first showed up. So I had to remind them of it when I attacked you and put that sleazy stink Jessica Rabbit out to pasture. Don't get me wrong, girlfriend. I had nothing against you. If Mandy was in your shoes, I would have done the same thing. But here's the problem. Mandy wasn't in your shoes. That, that title, title was, was meant to be mine, mine in Washington. But thanks to that Judas, Judas bitch, Neela, our match never happened. happened. And, and for, for a long time, time up until Handsome Jack, Jack announced the triple threat, threat I, never I never thought, thought I'd get my moment in the sun. I don't care if Neela's being tossed into the fray. And I sure as hell don't care what, what you plan on doing to keep that championship. championship. I'm, I'm gonna give twice as damn much if it means I finally get my vindication. So a reboot, you better be ready, because I'm going for that title. And I won't stop until I've proven why I belong at the top of this division. I certainly hope you won't. Lest you end up like your friend Johnny Gat. Left in the dust after being carried as long as they could by a true star in the making. Oi, my, that was a... No! Well, mate, if you're gonna talk shit, you better be ready to get hit. But it looks like Zatanna was very much anticipating oh, that was gonna get a rock. Chops again. That bare fist, but Shondi's also got bare fist, and she's got rings on her finger. That makes oh, it worse. Ooh, rings on her finger. That's not good. And a gauntlet, mate. She's got that little gauntlet on her face. Look at Shondi. Oh. Just unloaded. Step up forearms. Oh, oh. Went for a woman. Step up forearms, but no. Oh. oh. Dodging the shot there. Just like that. Now we're trading the blows. Know. These two go. Blows. And Shondi rolling to the <laughs> outside to get some reprieve for a moment there. Wait. Oh, oh, it's shit. Nyla. It's Nyla. Nyla. Fuck. And it happens. Nyla. And Nyla. Nyla. Kendall stick in hand! Of course the Judas has the snake waits before when you can't see it the snake will strike. Ah. Oh. You just never know when it's coming. She saw an opportunity, ah. these two going like going at it, and Neela jumped at the chance to get her hands and weaken her opponents for reboots! Oh. First striking yep. with that thing she of poor Kane and now working down. The Divinity Champion. And out of the ring goes the Divinity Champion. Neela dumping Ow. the champ out. Ooh. Wait, wait a minute, Shondi recovering! Shondi back in. Shondi recovered. Ow. And now unloading her. Some revenge on Neela here finally. Neela, the fresher of the two. Oh, no. She she made sure these two beat each other up quite well before she came in to strike. Shondi only just now getting the reprieve, and there's that basement super kick and the kendo stick, the equalizer. Mate, you can't even call that an equalizer. That's like a plus one to a potty. 
That is a that bloody is plus one to the party. And look at this. Just oh. smacking it across. It, it split, mate. It split open. Don't. It broke. Shondi. Fighting around. Oh, oh, oh. Not enough. But no, Shondi low. Dodge strikes and the seat. Knee right to the oh. face. It's Shondi with the kicks. Unloading here. It's Shondi with the back elbow. Dazing neither way. Satana! Satana's got. Oh, no. Well, she's on out and, and it's just I, chaos. I it's just them chaos. Off and, oh. She had a baseball bat, but. Wait a minute. Satana's getting. She's got the baseball bat oh. again. Satana. Oh! Oh, 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 what the? Did you see a spark flow? Did you guys get these sparks what? flow? What the, what the hell just happened? What? And, and Neela's Neela running. Zatanna hit her hit Neela in the head and no, she hit her in the eye. What the? It, it got her in the eye. in the but... head. No, she hit her right in the eye. What the? Oh, what? what in the what? hell? And Zatanna. What the? It appears we've reached a stalemate between these three gentlemen. And in Tokyo, which one of them will be leaving with the Divinity Championship? Zatanna, Shondi, or Neela? <sighs> Better buckle up your seatbelts, folks, because this triple threat's gonna be a good one. Oh my god, you could just... What the hell is going... What, what was that black... Was that oil? I... Uh, well... I have no idea. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out more. We'll have to find out more later. Come Japan from all of us here at the booth. I've been Riley Bannon, and we'll see you in Japan, baby. Good night. No, 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 no. Not now. Not now. Of all the times, not now. Critical condition. H of apparatus. Ah, oh, this damage is critical. This damage is critical. Ah. <sighs> All right, all right, Neela. Easy, easy does it. It's no biggie, no problem at all. I had intended to use this at a later date, but I guess it's now or never. I've always got a plan B, or in this case, plan D. Ha, 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 ha.